Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Ella. In this video, we are going to show you how to do the twist from your technique cards. I'm going to be doing the twist star, and Ella's going to be doing... I'm doing the twist plus. So they're similar, but slightly different. So first thing you're gonna do is pick a spot and start to twist. This is the same for both. You wanna make it really tight, because remember, you're sticking it into your orb. So for the star, we are going to use four rubber bands. One up and down, one side to side, and two at an angle, just like a star. And for the plus, what are we gonna do, Ella? One up and down and one across. Exactly. So you wanna make it as tight as possible. You can always squeeze it a little once you get it to go in the orb. Put your rubber bands on, and feel free to follow along with your technique cards. Put your rubber bands on nice and tight. Remember, you don't have to use these. If you need additional ones for some reason, you can use other ones you have at home. Put it in your orb. And it's very important to make sure you don't have any fabric sticking out because then it won't remain all inside the orb, which is the whole point to make it mess free. If you need extra tips and tricks, please feel free to watch that video as well. So once you have it all locked in there, you're going to take your yellow pieces and twist them on the ends. This is what keeps everything locked nice and tight. And you just twist, 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 twist. <laughs> one on that side and one on the other. So I am using the Design Studio. For this one, after you get these two pieces in, you're gonna put it in the studio. So let's move that over. For Ella, who is using the starter kit, you are just gonna put the end pieces on and you're ready to go. So we'll stick this in here. We'll put one on one end. Make sure it's nice and tight. Mm -hmm. Keep everything in the orb. Turn it around and put on the other end. You can also use the handle kind of like a little screwdriver and just lock it in tight. And now you're ready to do what, Ella? Put the dye in. Oh my gosh, my favorite part. It's my favorite too. It's so much fun. Uh -huh. Okay, so for mine, I'm going to be using yellow and red. What colors are you using, Ella? Yellow and blue. All right, so we'll get those out. And then remember, start with the lighter color first. And you just start sticking it into the orb. Remember, when you pull the bottle out, you want to stop squeezing so it doesn't shoot everywhere. And you put it in any one of the holes that you like. I like to put in all of that. And remember, the more dye you add, the more colorful your piece will be, and the more the white from the rubber bands will stand out. The thing that I love about the Design Studio is you can take it up and make it go this way. Lock it into place, and now you have even more variety. And with Ella's, she can just shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, and mix it all around really great. So you add some of the second color, this makes it really fun and super unique because no two will ever be the same. Add some color. Once you're happy with the way that your piece looks, let it sit for six to eight hours so it can really soak into the fabric. After that, take your orb and wash it in the sink. You may need some help with that, so don't hesitate to ask. Rinse it out by just taking off the pink pieces on both ends and running the water through the orb. Open up your orb and take your piece out. Then you want to dry it, either air dry or in the dryer. And thanks to Movie Magic, your piece will look like this. Whoa! This was the twist. I did the twist star and Ella did the twist plus. I'm Amanda. And I'm Ella. Thanks for watching.